Hey there guys, it's Dom here and this is day 3 of uh, my video game challenge that I'm doing. So um, as you can see there's art now instead of just the black and white tiles. Um, I did the art for the bricks and the big brick background but someone saw my video and they messaged me and basically asked if they could help me do the graphics for it. So they're doing the drawings, they're taking over the drawings now and so you can see the, that kind of cobblestone um, background over there that's all done by him um, so I've added now death into the game well not death you just respawn straight away but um but yeah that if you touch the lava then you have to start back from the start or if you find one of these um, again the artist helped me draw it um, this is a candle and we're using it kind of like checkpoint so if you walk up to it and you press X you'll light the candle and your checkpoint will be stored there so now if I jump into the lava I start from here so um, this is kind of just I've edited the last prototype level before a little bit and see so you can light more than one and then when you light that it changes to up there but yeah so I'm um, just been editing the prototype a bit, trying to make a, uh, oops, trying to make a kind of testable game. And I've gotten a few people to try it now, and the feedback so far has been pretty decent. Some people find it absolutely infuriating, but good, good feedback overall. So um, yeah, uh, I did a, a, um, a bunch of coding, and actually. It wasn't too difficult to implement the checkpoints in the lava because I have my the way I had I coded before. It was pretty easy to add on these stuff. Oh crap! I was on the last one. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. So uh, because of the way it was coded, because I was um, the stuff I set up for animations, I could actually really easily uh, use a lot of the same code again. So it was really quick, actually, which is great. And uh, so now I can add lots of different types of tiles into the game really easily, which is great. Um, what I want to work on next is probably sound or a menu. Haven't decided yet. Uh, sound will probably be my next step because it's just too quiet. I need some music playing and some maybe footsteps and stuff like that. Jumping sound. I'm doing terrible. Eh. Okay, come on. Eh. Um, I also spent time today trying to figure out how to export this as a jar that you can double click. <sighs> yeah, so um, that took me ages, but I got I managed to do it. So now this game, you don't have to run it from Eclipse anymore. I can uh, export a jar <sighs> ah! that you just uh, double click and it opens this game up. Which is pretty awesome. Um, it's it's useful because I could send it to people to get them to try to test the game and see what whether they like it and get some feedback so far. So um yeah, that's about it. Really, I just want to jump across. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Slowly, slowly. Yes, checkpoint. Alright, so if you can see up above um, the old checkpoint I used to have, because I lit this new candle up, that candle's gone off, uh, which I think is pretty cool. So it shows your current checkpoint, and you can go back and light those ones up if you decide that you want to go backwards instead. Yeah. There we go, like that. So I'll just show you that you can in fact go backwards if you so desired. Ah oh, crap. Ugh. Okay. No, <laughs> I forgot to jump there. Um there's a few bugs with the jumping, but um nothing really game breaking because gen it generally helps you. So I'll show you the bug that I have right now. Um for some reason some kind of if you press jump and then you let go and press hold on to jump again, it does kind of like a double jump type thing. So you can see that was lit off and I could just light it up back again. So yeah, um, that was about it guys. Thanks for watching. 
Um, I hope you see my next video. And if you want to read more details about uh, the development process, I go a little bit into um, the theory behind my code. And uh, I talk about other development details like that. So if you want to check those out, do click the link in the description to check out the blog posts I made. But uh, thanks for watching. Bye.